Hello there, Geminis. So uh, thank you for watching my videos. So um, let me just, uh, you know, go through the process here. When I was shuffling out this spread, um, I saw a moving reel. Okay, so I'm going to uh, explain that a little bit. Uh, what I saw was uh, there's this vehicle. It's going down a country road. Um, it, it looks like it might be in a more temperate climate because you still see grass and trees and things like that. And it's a nice, you know, summer day. Okay. It's not too hot. And, um, I see like there might be two adults, like a mom and a dad in the driver's seat or in the front uh, seat. And then there's a little girl, she's in the back seat and she's by herself. And she has the window rolled down and she's looking out at the landscape. And what she sees is, um, it's a very deserted, empty road and all that's, a, it's not inhabited. So all, all she sees passing, you know, through her view is just, you know, shrubs and trees and um, power lines. Okay. Like the, the, the power lines and then a post, a pole, and then more power lines. So what I'm seeing is she's looking out the window and it's just, you know, there, there isn't a lot of like variation when it comes to terrain, landscape, monuments and things like that. She's just seeing the same repetitive things, the, the poles, the power line, the shrubs and the trees in the background, just recurring over and over and over and over again. And so when I was seeing this, some of the words that really jumped out was uh, a situation where there's a lot of patterns and repetitions. Okay. Um, a situation where I feel almost like if you're the little girl, okay, no matter what gender you are, if you're a Gemini watching this, you might be the little girl where, uh, a certain aspect of your life, you just feel like you don't have that sense of free will or that sense of agency to change things. Because once again, you know, you're in the back seat, someone else is, you know, taking control of the vehicle. And so what I'm seeing here is this sense of, for some of you, being swept along, feeling almost like you're being swept along with events, with things, with circumstances, and you're not, you know, really putting your foot down and, 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 and change the course pretty much. So that's what I'm sensing. And then I'm also seeing for many of you, uh, it's almost like a contemplative period. It's, it's kind of like the, um, the aftermath of a situation where you have some time to kind of mull things over, to think, think about things or to, you know, just kind of like watch everything kind of pass you by. Okay. It's a moment of like repose. And so those were the, uh, the key words that came out. And I want to go back to the whole concept of patterns and repetition, because I feel like there is a situation here where life has been kind of like at a standstill. Okay. I almost feel like you're going through the motions. You're, you're getting things done. You're doing what is expected of you. And once again, you're kind of like, um, not so much like pandering to, but more like doing what's expected of you, uh, going with the, the course of mo the, the course of events that have already been put into motion. Okay. And so you're managing or you're trying your best to, you know, keep afloat. And I feel like for some of you, in some instances, there could be like a lot of work piling on you, a lot of responsibilities that you have to take care of in a certain areas of your life. And I feel like it's work family as well. And so you feel a little bit tied and tether. Okay. This is the hangman. And this is a card about, you know, being stuck in a situation. Um, I also feel like not going, not wanting to go against the crowd. Okay. Not wanting to rock the boat, not wanting to like, uh, swim upstream. This is a card about, you know, um, taking the path of least resistance. It's uncomfortable, but it doesn't upset a lot of people. So I feel like you're in a situation where I feel that you are doing what you feel others expect from you. And I also feel for many of you, it's also shouldering the, the, the burden. Okay. Uh, doing what's expected of you, shouldering the burden and being in a situation where you don't want to upset other people, where you don't want to do, um, to go against the tide pretty much. And because of this, I'm seeing the whole patterns and repetition because we don't do what's expected of us, or because we don't want to upset other people in the process of doing something that we feel is the right path for us. 
we can also be swept up in this patterns and repetition where we feel like that lack of human agency of t making decisions, taking control of our own lives, being the driver, you know, being in the driver's seat where you can steer the vehicle in whatever path and through whatever, you know, road or route that you choose to take. So there's a lot here about needing to kind of step up, needing to put your foot down, need, needing to be very, very firm and needing to figure out which direction am I headed and how can I steer my path in that direction? There's a lot of like dreaminess, fantasy and like mulling things over, but I don't see a lot of action happening for you guys for the month of October. We have here the Seven of Cups and this is sort of like mulling over all the options that are in front of you, okay? Um, if you can look at this card, I mean, he's, he's looking at all the um, different offers that are in the cups. And this is a card about, you know, uh, being a little bit more like uh, daydreamy, dreaming about what could be, dreaming about like the life that you want to have, the career that you want to have, the ability to travel, the ability to move about. Because Gemini people love to be able to travel, to see new things, to report back and, and you know, tell others about all the new sites and all the new adventures. And I feel like this is stuck in the mental realm where you're thinking about it, you're conjuring it up and you're living through the, that mental space where you're thinking like what life could be like. But the reality of the situation here is we have a deep meditative state where these offers are definitely, you know, being presented to you. But you're thinking about that one elusive offer that's going to be on its way in. And the stereotypical Gemini always thinks about, you know, the grass being uh, greener. Some of you with that courage or with that a lot more fire in your, your chart, you might physically go out there and seek greener pastures. But I'm seeing like I'm dealing with um, Gemini people that might have, you know, heavy water influence, heavy earth influence where you feel a little bit tethered and stuck to like earthly responsibilities five of pentacles this is all the responsibilities that you have to take care of you feel tied to it you feel tethered and you feel like you're not in a position where you're free to take up any of these offers or manifest these things and make it a reality or even if the offer comes into the picture it's fun to you know fantasize over it but when the offer is uh, is physically right in front of you i just feel like you cycle through that you know grass is always greener mentality where you're just like well this offer is okay but i'm waiting for the best offer and so in the process of waiting for that best offer that might or might not materialize you might pass up on other things okay so i feel like there was a situation here where things were being thought about things were being fantasized about things were being um i i feel like experience more in the mental space and it never really materialized and 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 because it you lived it in in the mental space you just think about all the risk associated with it you just think about um it's it's almost like the offer was there but in the process of thinking about how it could be you might have scared yourself into acting on it you might have scared yourself into you know like not taking that offer when it came in does that make sense so i'm seeing here things were thought about but the concrete actions were not taken in some way and then i also feel like there was a situation here where you felt financially tied to a situation and you might not even want to be in that situation anymore because the four of cups is about boredom okay and then when like an air sign such as yourself have to escape into your mind in the realm of the mind in order to live out some alternate reality or some alternate fantasy that's when you know that physically the situation that you're in might not be exciting might not be enough for you anymore and that's why you're retreating into the more mental emotional space in order to live out like this fantasy in a safer or in a more like um fantastical environment 
So I, I'm definitely seeing this here. And this might be something that have come in um, in the months prior, like in September, in August, uh, whatever, however this plays out for you guys. I feel like you're coming into the month of uh, October realizing this, realizing how a lot of energy, a lot of time has been wasted. And I'm also seeing a missed opportunity uh, where you molded over, you took your time and you stood there and waited. And I felt like something slipped you by. There's definitely an offer on the table here for something to be built upon, for something really, really great. And then I also feel like for many of you, when this offer came into the picture, for whatever reason, you felt like it wasn't good enough. You felt like it wasn't enough. You, you felt like it wasn't life-changing. It wasn't fantastical the way that you envisioned it in your mind. And so you might have inadvertently, you know, turned your back on this offer. And I feel like it was very solid. It has the potential to go the distance and it has like the potential to be um, built upon, to, 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 you know, to be nourished and cared for. And then it would really uh, blossom. And it has like a lot of income generating potential as well. And for whatever reason, this situation was overlooked. So coming in for the month of October, I feel like your spiritual advice in general is regain control step back in that driver's seat don't let these things cycles and patterns and repetitions um don't let them repeat because as um as you will see further down the line possibly you know moving into next year where we're heading into 2020 and um you're gonna start to see that you know a lot of time energy resources has been wasted but very little came out of, you know, the, the ability to manifest in 2019. So I feel like there's a situation here where they're telling you to, you know, uh, take action. Okay. Take charge, put your foot down and really steer your life in a different direction. Because I feel like you're kind of like being swept along rather than being the driver in your own life. Okay. So that is pretty much what I'm picking up here with the first four cards. And so moving forward, what we have here, you have, um, you're ending out with the month with a little bit more of a spiritual advice. And it's, um, it's an advice to kind of like, it, it's like a forewarning. Okay. So what we have here is the two of cups and the lovers. The two of cups so both of these are you know like uh love cards okay both of these cards denote like um a connection like a, an emotional connection that you have with another person one is very very stable so we have here the two of cups this is friendship camaraderie two people that you know even if you haven't spoken to one another in a really really long time you can still pick up where you left off five years um you know since the last encounter you can pick up where you left off 10 years since the last encounter things just flow communication is really um it's really easy between the two of you and this is two people having a lot of compatibility okay because the two of cups is like no matter what the other person does you forgive them and vice versa no matter what you do the other person forgives you because they innately have an emotional understanding of why you do the things that you do because deep down they're a lot like you okay so this is like a, a, a true friendship a, a true love relationship where you know uh, some people say soulmate or whatever but i feel like at its core essence it's built on being able to like one another okay you can love somebody but i feel like this is a card that denotes um true compatibility where you really like the other person you want them to do well okay and then in opposition to that we have here the lovers and this is a card that indicates a lot of like chemistry a lot of uh, physical passion that we have for another person but when we what we see depicted in this card is like the feminine and the masculine um, energies where they're complementary, but they're not always compatible. So it's a situation where I feel like 
there might have been third party interfering in the relationship there might have been you know other people on the outskirts of the relationship either disapproving it or you know too many cooks in the kitchen too many family members too many outside elements affecting the compatibility and the stability and the uh, tranquility in this union right here and i feel what's happening here is for some of you gemini um you we for most of us actually not just you gemini's for most of us we we need both in order to feel really um alive in a relationship right we need that compatibility to know that the other person is going to be there even when they're mad at us okay and then we also need this raw unbridled passion in order to feel alive in order to feel that sense of excitement in a relationship so we kind of need both and i feel like there's a situation here where you're i you're getting one but not the other okay and i feel like you might be seeking a little bit more excitement or some of you could be seeking a little bit more stability so you're getting one of these things in your relationship but you're not getting the other so whatever it is that's lacking that's what you're really thinking about that's what you're really mulling over and that's why it's really hard to truly you know choose among all the options because you want that all encompassing you know you want the total package you want somebody who embodies this and this and i feel like if you are in a situation where the relationship is lacking one of those things, whatever that might be, that you deem you you need in that relationship, um, if you are in a partnership or if you are in a relationship with another person, I feel like your partner is feeling that too, okay? And what I have here is we have the High Priestess. This is somebody who works on intuition, okay? So this is some someone who like, they can walk into a room, and they can feel the undercurrents, they can feel the tension, they can feel the love, they can feel whatever energies that are inherent in that room, in the between the interaction between the people in, in that room, they feel it. And then this is someone who's so intuitive that when they're interacting with you, if you're if they're picking up boredom or if you're emitting, you know, signs of boredom, they're gonna know. If you're emitting signs of dissatisfaction, they're gonna know. And if you're emitting signs that like, you know, uh, you're, you're either spaced out or daydreamy or, you know, you're not 100% committed to it, I feel like they will know. And so you're dealing with someone like this where energetically they pick up what you pick up or I'm sorry, what you would emit on a subconscious level. So you might not be doing it on purpose, but I definitely feel like there is a situation here where the partner is picking it up. Um, the word that I'm getting from this card here is about, you know, the, uh, there's a connection here where, and I'm just going to raise this up. We have here the two of cups. This is a really good spiritual connection because, uh, I feel like, you know, the two people really, really care about each other. Okay. They're very much alike. It's like a mirror splitting image. And if you were a little bit more prone to looking for excitement rather than compatibility in your relationship, I feel like the month of October is going to it's, it's going to be a little bit more grounding for you because from this card, what I'm getting is you're starting to see the value in this person, in this connection. You're starting to see how much alike the two of you are okay it's like peas in the pod and you're starting to revere or you're starting to have a lot more respect for this person it's not that the respect wasn't there i just feel like a lot of things get bogged down or you know gets like slammed on top of this relationship so you're not able to see it for what it is but coming into the month of October, I feel like you're going to hold this person on a pedestal and there is, you know, reconciliation and making amends and things like that coming into this picture because you're going to start to see the energy of the two of cups protruding. And this is sort of like, you know, even if the other person drives you nuts, you still forgive them. 
and even if you drive them nuts they will still forgive you and you're going to start to see that that's what compatibility truly is about okay and then on the other hand i'm also sensing for many of you putting an end to third party situation we have here the lovers which is you know like i mentioned the interference earlier and the ten of swords and the ten of swords is a situation where it has to happen and unfortunately it's a situation that's not you know it is not easy to recover from and because it's not easy to recover from it has to happen so that we can realize its finality and you know um i i feel like this is across all signs okay we're all guilty of this we always think about what ifs, what ifs, what ifs in relationships or in a situation. Like if I hung on a little bit longer, if I stayed on, if I tried a little bit harder, and if I had done things differently. And so we always cycle through, we always think about the what ifs, and especially for you guys, um, the air signs, constantly think about, you know, alternate realities constantly think about you know an alternate um timelines and especially thinking about if i had done this the outcome would have been different and it's really difficult to um to figure out you know that counterfactual if that had happened how things would have been and and since we don't live with that counterfactual since the choices were made differently we are always going to be stuck in that revolving door, you know, thinking like, should I go back to it? Should I try to fix it? If I had done this, the other person would have done something else and then the situation would have been different. But we don't know the outcome of that different scenario because we're not living in that timeline. And so what I'm seeing here is there's a situation here, it had to end and it had to end in a way where definitively you can tell yourself, it wasn't meant to be because it ended this way and i'm feeling for many of you there might have been like a really strong um connection with you and another person where you both were just not very compatible for each other and compatibility you know um opposites attract so compatibility lack of compatibility is not always a deal breaker in a relationship but lack of compatibility when two people are too stubborn too you know pro like i feel like too proud to kind of let their guard down be vulnerable with one another and to kind of like you know agree on a common plan that's where things can get a little bit dicey and that's where i feel like there's a situation here where there's a lot, too much has been said, okay? The sword energy rules communication and you have this um, kind of spooky figure in the back, okay? It's like daggers in the back, feeling like somebody has really done something that you can't really forgive them for or that can't really be, um, be gone back to and fixed, okay? So it's a situation where you're not going to be wondering what ifs anymore. I feel like, you know, it's kind of like that last nail in the coffin where too much has been done, too much has been said, and you really can't, you know, uh, re reconcile or recover from it. And then I also feel there is a reconciliation here with a situation that where there's a lot more compatible, um, more compatibility, where there's a lot more consideration for one another. And when that happens, I feel like you're going to start to revere this a lot more. You're going to start to see the value in this person or this situation. And you're going to start to, I want to say, make a lot more effort in order to keep this situation around so for the month of october i do feel you're regaining that sense of agency you know being the driver's seat in your own life steering the vehicle in whatever direction you feel is better suited for you and making some really strong uh important and major decisions here when it comes to your emotional stability okay and you know uh, choosing who you choose to spend your time with who you are devoting your resources and your energy to 
and who is facilitating and making the voyage easier for you. So you're really coming into your own sense of what's very uh, important to you. And I feel like, you know, the, the path of least resistance in this card, then I'm also feeling being able to cleanly sever ties with people that might not have been good for you, being able to say that, to see the situation for what it is, okay? It's like two people, when they're working well together, they can like have dominion over their environment, okay? This is like a kingdom, okay? So it's like uh, ruling over all the animals and, you know, at the risk of sound, sounding very biblical, I feel like it's dominion over the earth, over their environment, and that's because they're working together to pro like procreate or co-create some type of a um, harmonious environment. When it's working at its best, this relationship can be very exalted, but when it's working at its worst, it's lack of compatibility, lack of common vision, lack of common ideals, lack of like um, common goals and aspirations. And so what I'm sensing here is just because it's incompatible doesn't mean that it's doomed from the start. It just requires a lot of growth, a lot of maturation, a lot of like um, seeing, you know, forcing yourself to kind of like see the other person's perspective and, and understanding where they're coming from and why they behave or why they make the decisions that they do. And I feel because of that, it requires us to kind of like step outside of our shoes and slip into someone else's shoes to kind of like understand what they have been through. And I feel like this process might also be very, very uncomfortable because um, you're dealing with someone who might be very opposite from you. You're dealing with someone who might be very different from you culturally, linguistically, I feel for some of you, and just, you know, in a different body, in a different life. And so it's really, really hard to uh, figure out where they're coming from and why they behave the way that they do. But either way, I feel like the, the month of September, there was a situation here where you're clinging on to and you're realizing what's very important to you. You're in a situation where you're not putting yourself in, in you know, circumstances where people can make you really doubt your capabilities because I feel like there's a huge uptick here when it comes to, you know, being able to follow through with things that you have uh, laid out for yourself. I feel like there might have been a situation here, especially for some of you like schooling, training or something like that, because the page of pentacles is um, it's like a student. OK, so this is like some type of a training course, some type of on the job training, some type of schooling for some of you. You might have, you know, had too many distractions. OK too many books, too many events, too many things happening in your life, and you couldn't adequately devote the time to get the schooling underway. And you kind of beat yourself up over it because, you know, air signs uh, pride themselves on being very intelligent and very smart to be able to, you know, um, churn out an essay, uh, in it, burning the midnight oil to, you know, turn out essays, okay? So like doing it at the last minute, cramming for exams and still scoring a really, getting a really good grade on the exam. So you pride yourself on this. And I feel like there might have been times where you were saved by this, but for whatever reason, there were so many responsibilities imposed upon you recently. Too many distractions too. Lack of ability to focus and get things done. And it left you in a space where you're just like, I wish I had done things differently. I wish I had taken things more seriously. And now you're realizing this was a lesson that you had to learn to take things a little bit, you know, more seriously, to be less, not less lighthearted because that sounds negative. But what I mean is some things are meant to be worked at very, very diligently. And so I feel like you're, uh, you know, no longer distract, distracted. You're buckling down and studying and it might be quite boring, but I feel like you're starting to see the end goal and you're starting to see as well, you know, hard work really pays off. We're going from the five of pentacles. This is a situation where there's regrets. Okay. 
into the nine of pentacles this is self-sufficiency having mastery having mastery either over your work over this training environment over the schooling environment foregoing you know short-term pleasures for long-term gains so that you can achieve and and gain something that is tangible and and and, and valuable and will sustain or will you know um, stand the test of time so I definitely see some sacrifices having to be made from your end in order to achieve like long-term stability and so Gemini's um, I feel like you know the energy for this month it's about you needing to you know uh, it I'm almost hearing like no more excuses we need to buckle down we need to do this and we need to do this right um, we don't want to repeat cycles from the last time okay so there's a lot here about patterns of repetition recognizing those patterns and not letting those patterns repeat and then I'm also seeing you know the um, taking control like being in the driver's seat taking back control understanding what is not good for us and choosing to kind of like um, making conscious decision and these two cards, I switched the order. Um, this is about spiritual growth, making decisions for more of this spiritual enlightened space rather than succumbing to this, okay? Where there's a lot of chemistry, there's a lot of excitement, but at the end of the day, I feel like it can, it, it can like feel a little bit like an emotional roller coaster and then you end up very very depleted okay and you're not going to be functioning at your best so moderation is the extreme key here but i also feel uh, the most important thing is you know not letting patterns and cycles repeat all right so uh thanks for sticking with me and um if you are interested in a reading, um, there is a uh, colleague that I uh, have seen in the past. Her name is Bridget. She's a psychic. She is phenomenal. I highly recommend that you get a reading from her. She's in the California area. So if you're ever in the area, I've included the link in the description box below for her contact information as well as her scheduling website. So if you're interested in a reading for yourself or so for someone you know, uh, please book a reading with her. All right. Uh, I wish you the best for the rest of the month of September 2019 and uh, have a wonderful October. Okay, take care of yourself, Geminis, and I'll be back next month. Bye-bye.